Hi, I'm James Herbert, Service Manager for New Way Trucks. This video covers the in-cab display of New Way Electric Valve Mammoth front loaders and Sidewinder automated side loaders. Here we see the main or home screen. This screen is a pictorial view of the status of the truck. You can see the status of various components of the truck, such as the tailgate e-stop pump status and PTO hours. Here the e-stop is red when it's off and green when it's on. The pump sections turn green when they are on and white when they are off. For a side loader, when the arm is not stowed, that flashes red down there. When the packer is home, you see a blue P home box. When it is packing, or not at home or in the extended pack position, the packer home and the packer extended will flash with a line through them. Here you see the blue box for packer fully extended. On full eject models, like most front loaders, this is the in position of the pack cycle, not the eject position. When the crusher or hopper lid is fully open, it is green. When it is not fully open, it is red. When the tailgate is closed, it is blue. When it is open or not closed, it flashes red. When the body is ajar, the whole body will be tilted up and flashing red like this. If the hopper or safety door is open, it will turn red and it will also turn the pumps off. Here are the indicators for the strobe lights and the work lights. Now let's explore the troubleshooting features of the display. Use the right arrow key to navigate to these screens. The first screen the right button navigates to is blank. Press the right arrow again to get to the useful screens. These trucks use a CAN bus network joystick. To troubleshoot a joystick, use this screen. There is no need to test the joystick with any other test equipment. The red dots on the right represent the buttons on the joystick. The numbers represent the joystick position, 0 is where the joystick centers, and 1000 is the maximum for each of the directions. The second screen is for the cab controller. Each of the numbers represents the pin of the controller itself. If the pin number is lit green, either the input or the output is on or active. For a description of what each number, input, and output correspond to on the truck, please consult the manual or contact New Way for a reference. The third screen is the body controller. It works in the same way as the cab screen. A lit green number means it's on. The arm analog and fork analog signals are for the optional auto dump auto level feature. If you have this feature, these numbers correspond to the position of the arms or the forks. The fourth screen is the DOT slash PDU unit. PDU stands for Power Distribution Unit. Same goes here, a lit green number is on. The letters here symbolize the power wires for each of the modules. The fifth screen is the rear lighting controller. Again, for the pinout, refer to the manual or contact New Way for a reference. The sixth screen is for the automated arm controller. Mammoth front loaders do not have this controller. The proportional arm valves are here. These are for the analog cylinders if you have an optional auto dump model sidewinder. There are two analog cylinders on the arm in and out and one on the up and down. The next screen shows the status of the ECU, the TCU, RPMs, and the neutral signal from the CAN bus network. This screen shows the various this screen shows the status of the features. This screen has a cumulative arm counter. The left arrow navigates to the fault screens. Each controller has its own screen. The controller could have more than one fault. Use the left and right arrows to scroll between controllers and the up and down arrows to scroll between the faults per controller. That's it for the display. It is a powerful tool for diagnosing and troubleshooting your new way truck. For more information, contact us at New Way.